Hello everyone, it's Professor Zinri Alfie back with a new uh, Tuesday, uh, you know, new video for like um, yesterday night's uh, stream review, Tuesday stream review. Alright, so um, let's get straight into the news, but before that, um, we have like a lot of things to we have like a lot of Morphonica cards to go through today, so just bear with me uh, for a little bit, right? Uh, but before we get straight into the news, if you do like my content, please do hit the like and subscribe and hit the notification bell and stay tuned for more. And yeah, let's get straight into it. But before we get into the um the cards itself, we have a uh, announcement. We have a new update on the rules. Uh, so for TLDR, uh, power multiplying such as elder breath, which you know increase the uh, multiply your uh, front row units and uh, criticals by two, you power multiply and power copy like uh, Asha's Fall of Fairy. Uh, now can happen before boost is applied. Uh, boost is applied, so boost power is not double by elder breath, right? So just to make that clear, and power. Asha Fire Fairy can benefit from the boost now, so which is kind of good. Um, which in a sense that uh, because like boost power doesn't really when because like when you power the boost and uh, activate um, kind of like Elder Breath's ruling and you know check the check the OT. Uh, boost power is not technically doubled, so that's uh, that's kind of uh, sad. But I think it's 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 Elder Breath, right? It's an OT, so. I think the power calculation doesn't really matter at that point, but I mean, for those of the players, it might it might, it might be a concern. But yeah, um, not to mention that Asha Flower Fairy can benefit from boost now because last time, if I'm not mistaken, uh, you can't really add the power or something along those lines. Uh, maybe uh, the thing is that like uh, if you boost with Asha, then uh, whatever power Asha is, then power, the Asha Flower Fairy can just copy it. Um, so yeah, so that's technically the ruling and trigger effects are now counted as a unit that cuts ability which makes sense kind of um, because like red OT is still a trigger unit so it's, uh, it's still a unit card so um, so meaning that will proc things that reference to cuts ability yeah, uh, for example Sazana will give power when every gun is stood by a sand trigger so yes that's that's about it lah. Um, yeah, so these changes are coming into effect immediately, so they will be live for standard Bushiro Rumble online this weekend. Alright, so for those of you who are playing Brand Gate or playing uh, V series premium whatsoever, uh, keep a lot of this. Uh, yep, comprehensive proofs, uh, do keep the keep this in mind. And uh, yep, that that is all for now. Uh, maybe you can guys just like clarify me, and, uh, you know, help me clarify a little bit more. Perhaps I can might get this wrong. So please kindly put it down in the comment section down below. <laughs> all right. Um, if I get things wrong, right. So okay, now we get to Morphonica in Bang Dream. Now Bang Dream is getting into standard. Um, uh, which is really nice. So we have like a lot of cards to go through today. So what we have right here is the Great Zero. Um, uh, Mashiro, uh, Kurata Mashiro. Henka uh, no Hajimari, uh, Hajimari uh, Kurata Mashira. So technically, they are all uh, EX plus Gotobun, the same thing as Gotobun, the same thing as the Angling Triggers. Um, so, very generic uh, these uh, starter skill when this uh, unit is being worked upon if you go second and drop one. Alright, so that's it. And then, uh, the, then we have the great one, uh, Summer Sky Harmony Mashiro. Uh, when this unit is uh, place on the a uh, place by riding on the Great Zero Mashiro research attack of to one Great One Morphonica song, we will then and add it to your hand dash after your death. And yeah, uh, when this unit is placed on regular circle, you discard one critical trigger from your hand, you search up your deck for up to one song card, we will then and add it to your hand dash for your deck. Now um I would also like to probably clarify a bit because this song is not the same as Laura Nero's song, which is kind of obvious. But this song, if those of you who played uh, Bang Dream during the V Era series, um, you know the V Era and so the V series deck, uh, you do remember that it's a uh, uh, normal order, which is placed on the back row center rear guard circle. So that's technically what the gimmick is for Bang Dream. Uh, so that's about what this deck will do. So we will definitely like revolve your deck, like the base is gonna revolve based on what kind of song you're playing. So that's uh, so that's it. Uh, not to mention that um, since this is a Bang Dream card, um, all of the Bang Dream figures that you guys uh, you know have collected in you know in VB10, if I'm not mistaken, yes, of course you can play in there. So Morphonica, you, you can just shove in all the Morphonica triggers in there. So that's that's about it, right? So that's kind of good. 
uh, for this one song part. So songs, yeah, it's kind of like filter out your songs as well. So which is kind of nice. And then daylight. So this will be the uh, first example of what you're gonna glimpse of it. So this is a great one song order. Um, after you play, after you play this song, you have to put it at the center back row. Uh, uh, center back row uh, circle until the end of the turn. Um, when this unit is placed on the rearguard circle, put to rearguard circle, you reveal the top card of your deck and end it. You can, if the reveal trigger uh, card is triggered, you need to choose off one of your Morphonic card and guys and it gets 5 in the end of the turn, which is kind of nice. Um, not only it uh, allows for a free draw, um, it also gives your Vanguard 5 key power, so it's kind of nice. And then we have the great tool, uh, uh, Mashiro. And when this unit is placed, uh, special self Mashiro Karata. Okay, when this unit is placed by uh, riding on the great one Mashiro, you look at the top seven cards of the deck. You choose up to one more funny card card from among them, reveal it, and add it to your hand. Then shuffle your deck. So it doesn't have to be a song. It can be in either of the other band members, which or any other Mashiro cards. So yeah, so that's also pretty nice as well. And after that, we have Shining Glow, uh, Koko Kirigaya. And then the skill is that front row left rear circle. So this is very oddly specific. So you have to place it on the rear circle, right? Um, when your Vanguard, uh, when your Mashiro Vanguard attacks or when you drive check a trigger unit, this unit gets 5 hit until the end of the turn. So which is kind of nice. So if she's a 15k attacker, and if you uh, assign a trigger to her, it's gonna be like a 25k. So quite straightforward. That's that. And then we have Genius Talent, uh, Nanami Hirochi. So the skill is that uh, it's a great one. So uh, he, yeah, uh, Toko is a great tool, okay. Um, so Nanami skill, act Rega once per turn. Uh, you either counter blast one or you soul blast one trigger unit, so you can pay either of those costs. You choose one Morphonica unit card from your drop zone. And if you do not have the rearguard as the same name as the card, you call it the rearguard circle, which helps you to fill the board with different card names, which is gonna be super relevant. Uh, you should be super relevant for like the face down of this deck, which you can get straight into it. And then we have the uh, card working leader, uh, Squishy Futaba. And when this, uh, the, it's a great one, okay. Uh, when this unit is placed on the rear glass of gold, you either counter glass one or you put one trigger unit from your hand to your soul. You look at the top seven cards of your deck, you choose up to one card from among them with Mashiro in its card name, reveal it and add it to your hand, then you shuffle your deck. If you did not reveal the card, you get to CC one, which is kind of nice. And the skill second continuous, the second skill continuous very last go during your turn. If you have a great trio, greater vanguard with Mashiro in its card name and one e rear guard each with Toko, Nanani, Squishy, and Rui in a respective card name, all of your Morphonica units get power plus by K. So which uh so it makes sense for them to let's say Nanani skill uh and some and other similar skills which you're gonna do look through uh like you're gonna see through later uh this is going to be very important because uh i mean it's not i don't it's not even super super important but uh in order for morphonica to get all the power plus 5k power boost yeah uh, this will be very very necessary so all of them will get like 5k boost so you have like say 18k 18k uh, on one column, one column, it's gonna be like 28k, so it's like 28k. So, which is kind of nice on the first, like, you have the huge power bump um, over there. Um, thanks to Anya Sukushi and helps you to fill the board, and as, as long as it's a different name, right? Okay, now we have Dignified Talent, we have uh, Rui Yashio, and then this unit is placed on Real Guys Circle, you choose up to one Morphonica song from your deck, discard it, then shuffle your deck. If you discard it, this unit gets power plus 5k until the end of the turn. And also, front row with Circle, uh, when this un unit attacks, if you have a Wen uh, you have a Mashiro Vanguard, and you play a song during this turn, you soul last one, you reveal one trigger unit from your hand, you choose up to one more from the car, song from your drop zone, and add it to your hand. Right? So it allows you to filter out all of your necessary songs that you need, and also bounce back like whatever you know whatever Morphonica songs that you need to play in the drop in like in your drop zone for that particular turn. Uh, depending on the situation, depending on face out, right? So this is kind of nice as well. So that's that's great. And then we have the next song. We have Fly with the Night. Uh, but this unit is based on the rearguard circle. If you have a Morphonica Vanguard, you get all of your Morphonica rearguards cannot be chosen by your opponent's card abilities, which is also super good until the end of your opponent's next turn, which is yeah, super nice. Then you choose up to one Morphonica unit cut from your drop zone, and if you have no rearguards with the same card name, uh, name uh, with the same name as the card, you call it the rearguard circle. So not only does this call 
uh, rear guard from your drop zone for free. It also allows you for your entire pod to have resist. So technically speaking, this uh, if you play this song, it's technically anti Gandiva, anti prison, anti jet, uh, anti messiah, um, whatever control decks that you can think of cannot be chosen by opponents card abilities. So which is kind of nice, right? So yeah, I, I this is a really really good song to play. Honestly speaking, and it's a great tool. Um, so it, I bet it's going to be like a super good song to stay for. But I'm not sure. Depending on the meta, I feel like people might play for that song. So who, who knows? Who knows? Depends. All right. Now we have the great tree card uh, for uh, Mashiro. So we have uh, Fukanze na Metamorphose, uh, incomplete metamorphosis, uh, metamorphosis, uh, Mashiro Kurata. Uh, so one. Uh, Auto Vanguard once per turn. When this unit is attacked by your opponent's rear guard, okay, you discard one great tree with uh, Mashiro in its card name. You choose one of your other Morphonica rear guards and change the attack unit to that uh, the attack unit to that unit. So which which means that it's a redirect attack. So this is very very. Um, I think this will be the first card that you redirect the attacks. I'm not sure. I might be wrong, but this could. This is a very very uh, nice mechanic. Granted, it's once per turn, um, but it also has to be specified that this it will be have to be your opponent's rear guard. So, assuming for the fact that uh, let's say for example, a hundred million power is about to hit, um, let's say uh, one of your opponent's rear guards is kind of swing at you for hundred million. Then you discard, and since she's being attacked, if you have a Mashiro uh, Great Tree in your hand, you can just discard it, and then you can redirect that attack to the Rekas, so, which is kind of super great in like uh, situations. So in situations like this, this is like super nice. Um, so that's what she does. And Act Vanguard, if you did not play a song during this turn, you counter blast one, you search your deck or your drop zone for up to one song, or for Nika song, you play it. And if you search your deck, show your deck. So, which is really um, simple uh, as that. So, not only helps you to play the uh, play the song directly uh, from your deck or from your drop, and it also helps you if you search your deck. It also helps you to out all your songs as well. So, yeah. Uh, granted, this is not a super great great tree. Uh, originally, when this card was reviewed, we thought that uh, is this going to be a main main vanguard or something like that. Kind of, which we're gonna get straight into the new state like, like like the next review after that. Um, so so technically, it's a very big card on her own. I wouldn't I wouldn't call it mid per se. I don't feel like it's pretty mid. Uh, but the fact that your first skill is kind of like um, it's it kind of like negates your attack so which is kind of good in its own sense and not to mention that it plays the song from your deck or your drop so yeah. which is kind of good uh, instead of just like normal playing it i would say all right so we have the next song we have a nearby sunny sunny okay um continuous regards of uh during the battle where your vanguard with uh mashiro if uh vanguard attacks if your opponent will call from hand to the other circle they have to call two or more at the same time. So technically something like a guard restrict. So two or more um have to guard with two or more, which is kind of great. Um and certain skill auto regards kill when your vanguard with uh, Mashiro in his cutting attacks, you choose one of the vanguards plus 5k at the end of the turn. So which is good. So Mashiro will be an 18k attacker and just uh you know and you have to guard your opponent you have to force your opponent to guard with two or more if they want to survive. So yep, at least that's mm, this is a Good song, good song. And after that we have um last but not least we have the more uh important card. So this would be the I won't call it the ace vanguard, but I, this could be the ace vanguard right? So it is technically. Uh so symphonic illusory well ma uh Kurata Mashiro. And when this unit is placed by riding on the previous Great Tree Mashiro, you activate Persona, right? So something like the uh, you know, like Kegria, like the new, the recent Kegria, Evas, uh, all the recent creators. So it's activating Persona right on a different card name. So it's the same similar effect, right? Um, you activate Persona right, you choose the one more funny card song for your drop zone, and you play it, and this unit gets all the following abilities until the end of turn. Uh, auto Vanguard once per turn, at the end of the battle where this unit attacks, you put one trigger unit from your hand to your soul, you resend her and drive minus one until the end of turn. Okay, so that is good. And auto uh, Vanguard Circle, at the end of your turn, you choose up to one uh, 
previous uh, the Great Tree uh, Mashiro uh, from your soul and write it as rest, which means that you can keep on you know persona writing back and forth with this card. So which is um I won't, I mean like yeah yeah you can technically like do like a lot of persona writes regardless uh, with this card. So uh, granted, it's going to be a very difficult late game uh, because like sometimes um, if you write back the old Mashiro, like the old Mashiro and then uh, you do not have the new Mashiro in its hand, it's gonna be a little bit awkward as well. Uh, but yeah, this will be like a guarantee uh, persona right if you uh, write her. Um, not to mention that the, 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 the fact that you have like a lot of uh, combos that you can do with her. Um, you can just technically restand her. She's also she's a restander, and if you can combo with this song, uh, you have to two or more at the same time until the end of time. So you keep on have to force your opponent to just on like keep on guarding with two, and she can get five k. And it, the effect stacks. So the first time she swings, she's gonna be like, uh, let's assume it's a persona turn. So she's gonna be like twenty three on her first attack, and then she's gonna be like. Um, 23 on first attack, she's gonna be like 28 on her uh, second attack later on. So with drive minus one, obviously. Okay, so which is kind of good. Um, but not to mention that uh, the most important part is that you have to have a trigger, Morphonica trigger in your hand. So which is why um, Bad Dream triggers. Uh, if there's like Morphonica cards in there, it's gonna be like really important later on. Um, but yeah, you can, you can just combo with like a lot of things with this uh, song. Uh, so maybe not on the on place one, but I felt like the other other ones will be very important for not not fly with I think this one will be the the most combo, the the most song that's gonna get combo. Uh, so that's that's about it. So yeah, though because all of this uh because like the previous two uh previous two songs is basically on place regards. Uh, when placed on the back row, the center way guards circle. Uh, this one has to be like a cons like considered as a continuous uh, skill. So regardless of where it is, it's gonna activate. Uh, it's gonna activate the skill regardless. Um, you're just trying to make that sure. Yep, that's technically what she does. So yeah, she basically resends um, guard restricts. Mm, yeah, yeah. I think I would say that Nashir is pretty good a uh, contender. Whether or not it's gonna be a meta, I'm not sure. Meta deck, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, because I felt like uh, right now the collab decks, uh, like uh, say for example Mushi King and Gotobun, they're, they're pretty consistent, they can hold it out on their own. Uh, Mushi King become meta. Uh, I haven't seen with Gotobun yet. Uh, Gotobun can be potentially meta thanks to Yosuba, and uh, you know, it, technically Yosuba can be. Um, if they are fast enough, uh, you know, uh, Yotsuba, Nino, uh, Miku, uh, those cards, uh, those decks could potentially climb up to the top with the collab decks in, in like in terms of collab decks. And uh, so hopefully, Mashiro can climb up to the meta ladder. Uh, but whether or not uh, it's going to be super good, uh, we will have to see in the long run after uh, after that. So that's about it. Okay, so for the reviews. Uh, next stream, we'll review the cards from BT13 that were featured in episode 7 for uh, of the anime for a total of 11 cards. So we have 11 cards to go through uh, next Tuesday. So that's a lot of cards to go through. So bang. So we sit tight, ladies and gentlemen. And then after that, we have Morphonica triggers. Um, so they are not effect triggers. Unfortunately, they are not effect triggers. What they are, however, is that you can play 8 copies of the non queue. Of, uh, so up to 8 copies, so you can have 8 trades, you can have 8 draws, up to 8 draws, up to 8 runs, and then you have the 4 PGs, so it's an effect PG, this is an effect PG, the rest is are not effect triggers, which I feel like is a missed opportunity, but they could have reprinted the effect PGs, for, I mean, like effect triggers for Morphonica, so uh, uh, too bad. Alright, now, people uh, people have been asking me, the, so is, going, is it going to be like a uh, back, like, uh, these cards are going to be playable in V. No, these are not V cards. Uh, just to re reiterate, these are not uh, legal in V standard. The previous Bang Dream triggers that were released in BD10, yes, you can play this. You can play that trigger in virtually any uh, any format. But this one is not. So I think you have to keep that in mind when you have to play that. Uh, you can technically play this in. Premium, uh, I would say, but when, uh, 
the cards are, I think cards they are not uh the they, they are not of course not V sanctioned obviously. Uh but you can play this in premium if there's like a bang green premium deck, so that's it, that's that's how it goes. Uh obviously, yeah, so that's that's what it what they do. Alright, so after that um I think that's it. I think that's it. Um we can end this video right here right now. So if you do enjoy my uh video, um so click like and subscribe once again I'm be asking I'm gonna ask once again I'm asking you for your likes and subscribes and uh yeah stay tuned for the next video to come out and that's I think that's how I'm gonna conclude this video right here right now. If you do enjoy uh yeah stay tuned for more and I will see you guys next time. This has been the Zero